Hey, what is up everyone? It is Rich. All right, happy Saturday to you all. I am starting early today, but um, so I went through all the recommendations and, and enough people wanted me to dive into John Romita Sr. The reason being is that Jack and John were working parallel. There's some similarities to their styles and it helps us roll it back a little bit and move forward with, I guess, maybe, you know, kind of like the iconic Marvel style. But there's two artists that I'm definitely going to hit um, probably um, the next two is I want to do um, early Barry Windsor Smith. And then I also want to take a look at Keith Giffen, um, his early work, because I am familiar with... Um, uh, some of the Keith Giffen stuff that looks Kirby-esque and then we'll we'll really start to plow through the 70s into the 80s but um this this I think will ground um the the Kirby I don't know whatever you want to call it like like 60s Marvel style early 70s so um there's a few I was surprised um gathering all the um images for this video how much John Romita Sr. inked other people so there are pieces that are collabs with Gil Kane um, Ernie Chan, Gil Kane, and um, John Romita Sr., Marie Severin. So anyway, but uh, this is a very, very iconic cover. I actually have this comic book somewhere. Um, this is Amazing Spider-Man 72. Just a badass. Oh, it's the shocker. That's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's trippy seeing this in black and white. I'm used to seeing it in color. My copy's pretty beat up. It was one of my first Silver Age books that I got. Um, but uh, man, it looks good in this. So I, I always say this when I see this technique. I still to this day have never really found paper that can do this with a razor blade. I've tried different blades and stuff like that, but to get that like stipple stutter, it's not easy. The the razor blade or or exacto blade type blade. Um, usually you want to use like the old school kind of like rectangle um, razor blade. Um, but uh, yeah, it tends to either want to tear the paper or it just doesn't do it. But somehow combination of their ink paper and whatever blades they were using got that really cool da -da 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 effect <laughs> all right let's continue this is a scan off the original art although it looks grayscale to me it's weird but uh i mean you can see that it clearly is really really nice so it, for me it's just a um, an observer of John Romita Sr.'s work, characteristics that I would say that his work holds is really, really strong draftsman qualities, meaning that he can he draws very well. Uh, it's very clear. Um, it's it's uh, like he uses kind of softer lines at times. Like there's a roundness to some of the shapes. He draws really, really pretty girls. Um, a great Spider-Man and. Um, it's got a very intoxicating quality to it where it's like he yeah it's just like some artists are real aggressive john romita senior to me sort of he sweet talks you <laughs> even this so like you see the rhino like the lines are just a little more rounded on his stuff and it gives it a little bit more of a like a subdued quality chucking my phone like 10 feet away i'm getting a bazillion texts this morning all right there's some really great stuff that they do with the um, amazing spider-man logo on some of these pieces um there's a lot of john romina senior art going up on auction um on heritage soon and then there's a ton that had had completed but uh yeah, it's really, really cool. I'm going to do the Audacity plugin today for my worrying computer fan, by the way. I've got a bazillion things I need to do today, but that's one of them. I'm going to check off the list. Here's some more of that razor blade stipple. It's like man, he's so good. The ink lines are great. But yeah, it was, it was interesting to me to see how much he inked. The guy inked a lot of stuff. A lot of these artists, though, you know, it's, it was like there was a lot of demands and they were really trying to pump this stuff out. And so, um, you know, the more skills and tools that you had at your disposal, the more valuable you were. But these are beautiful, beautiful ink lines. Man, those are great. Had a real nice brush. Whatever brush this was, it was crushing it. This is all very cool. Oh, the spider with me is great. Man. 
His Spider-Man is so good. I love uh, Kingpin's ring. This was... Was this... Maybe this is all him. Uh, there, there was one that was credited to Marie Severin and um, John Romita Sr. It's crazy how much this one yellowed. Again, a lot of times it's the paste up because I was noticing... Was it... I guess it's the logo. I don't know. There was some, some stuff over here that led me to believe that maybe some of this uh, main piece was glued down at one point, which would... Yeah, see, I think it was. Because unless this was just crudely cut out and put on top of it but the the glue can can really do a number on um i don't know the acid levels of the paper or something like that that's crazy there's professional restorers though can that can actually go in and very methodically remove that if it was a value valuable enough piece it may be worth it to do because it doesn't it doesn't really af affect the art it's just so other chemicals that can remove the yellowing probably very expensive because you'd have to be super careful um this is nice really really cool this is the last piece that i found um, i think this is all john romeo senior Oh, what a tangled web. I like how they did that with the web. That's the old school web, too. The um, crusty hatchy theme. Oh, yeah. We, <laughs> it was funny because uh, we did a thing a year or so ago, and we were trying to nail down the spaghetti webbing. There's a few theories on who did it. Michael Golden is one, and then there's another. Um, but I had seen it. I what, what it was is I think this is one of the collab pieces. This might be... Um, Shoot, I can't remember who penciled it. Uh, you guys can let me know on this one. So this is the Amazing Spider-Man 82. I can't remember if this is 100% Romita Sr. if he inked it. Or there was a couple of pieces that were three artists. It's not signed by anyone. But there was a few pieces that I didn't grab them. But they were like credited in parentheses to John Romita Sr. But... Again, the bullpen was probably a pretty well placed. This, this nice, nice up shot. Um, but yeah, I was I was looking at an old comic one day and I saw spaghetti webbing in it. It was way, way, way before um, Michael Golden and McFarlane. And uh, I asked people, "Is this the first time it appeared?" This is great, man. This is such a kick-ass cover. And again, that effect. He's torturing me with that effect. <laughs> I want that in my life. <laughs> Dude, that would be so hard to do. It, he probably used like some sort of a ship, um, ship template or a, uh, a very large French curve, or maybe a small one. It depends on the actual angle of it. But uh, yeah, I mean, he's just flexing now. Now he's doing curved ones. Come on, John Romita Senior, leave something for the rest of us, dude. Yeah, those. I I mean I I just can't imagine that ever working on, on pa the paper now or with the blades now. It's so weird. Oh, this is cool too. God, like OBS, I can't believe how, like it makes my fan work that freaking hard. Is there a better uh, streaming recorder, like screen recorder? I used to have Camtasia, but Camtasia's I don't know. One, it's really expensive, and two, I didn't really ever find it that good. OBS uh, definitely works better. So this. this trying to remember if this is all him stuff is all very cool up here it's funny because it like just looking at this it, it you could it looks like if it was printed you would think it was drawn behind it but he did a couple with black up there that were really cool hopefully the audacity filter um will um have my mic not pick up that sound this is really great. Man, his ink lines are so badass. Let me see one thing really quick. Is Clip Studio open? Oh, there is. Let me shut. I'm going to close Clip 
Game Studio. I just did a review. Um, I'm giving away two free reviews a month on Patreon. First half of the month is for sequential artists. Second is for um, uh, whatever your sketchbook, pinups, cover images. Just you know, you're trying to improve your art kind of thing. So I shot that this morning before I did this. My Patreon is fire. Over 600 videos, tons of inking tutorials, penciling, figure drawing, you name it. It's all there. And more book reviews. And art artist reviews. Mostly it's educational stuff if you're interested in drawing. Well, no, it's probably 50-50, but... The free reviews, everyone gets to see them too, so it's an educational opportunity for people to learn what a professional sees when they look at someone's art, and, and everyone will benefit from uh, that. This is really cool. I love Medusa. She's so cool. This has a little bit of a Kirby vibe. What's the touch? Uh, so iconic. Oh my god, these covers will go for so much money. I like these kind of covers with all the like headshots, just those kind of pieces. I think they're kind of fun. It's a good exercise too if you're like learning to draw. You know, we throw one dynamic figure and a bunch of these kind of like things behind it. It's a, like a nice way to um, get your feet wet drawing different characters. <laughs> Let's look at this too, and again more of that technique that drives me crazy. It's a nice signature. It's just this handwritten one. Again, just expertly done ink lines. Man, they're so good. Jeremy Senior, he's still alive. He's one of the last of these guys around. It's pretty incredible. He's got to be in his 90s, I would imagine. 92, if I was going to guess. Somewhere around there. Oh, this is a great pose, man. Spider-Man, his hands, uh, just all great form. This, is another one. this might be the last piece. So it's interesting. Um, it looks like Kingpin's head was pasted down and also Jonah Jameson. And then this. So they must have wanted those characters added to it um, after. Because the rest of it looks like it was all... Really, man, it's crazy. Like, this is an unusual line for him. Now, is this... Is this all... Oh, okay. This is... Um, someone else inked it. Yeah, I was going to say it's a trippy line for him. Kind of interesting, though, honestly. Like, I mean, his, uh, his when Senior inks himself, it looks definitely better, but... These are cool. I liked her dress. It was funny, like, small. I thought her dress really read well. Pattern on it was kind of cool. But, yeah, he draws really, really pretty girls. That's the one thing that I always felt with John O'Meara Sr. is his girls. His Peter Parker is cool, too. It's just nice, clean art. Definitely get the vibe that he was a bit of a perfectionist to some extent, whether he knew it or not. Ah, that's good, too. This is awesome. Who's this swanky dude? I don't trust him. It's too swanky. Man, that's great, too. So I'm still kind of trying to decide what I'm going to do for Super Fun Sunday, but I'm going to knock it out this morning at some point so I don't have to do any videos tomorrow because I've got a lot of stuff to do. Man, his girls are so pretty. Yeah, that's really good. Her upturned nose here is great. What's funny is I was getting, not that... that uh, uh, was an influence or influenced by him but uh josie and the pussycats i was like man he would draw a, dra a great josie and the pussycats piece <laughs> this was the piece so this is gil kane ernie chan and john romita senior it's credited to have no idea wh how, what who did what but uh 
it's possible that John Romina Sr. laid it out. Gil Kane drew it, and then Ernie Chan inked it. I have no idea. I, what was interesting, though, is I did notice when um, it had been sold two times on Heritage, the second time they had relisted it, the names, there was one name missing. So I don't know if they got more information. Maybe that's why the, the original buyer sold it. I have no idea, but uh, all right, let's see. I got a couple more. This is cool. This might have been the Marie Severin... John Romeo Senior piece. It was one of these. It's really good. Yeah, his girls are pretty. Would have been interesting if when they did How to Draw the Comics the Marvel Way, if they did it with more than, like, like if they did one with each of the most iconic artists, like, could you imagine if they had the John Buscema one, they had a John Romita Senior one, and you could pick, like, the other ones. They should have done that as a line of books throughout the whole career. Would have been a cash cow for Marvel, that's for sure. Um, I can't even imagine how many copies of How to Draw Comics the Marvel Way have sold. Millions, millions and millions. Most people, I asked one time on Instagram, must have had, I don't know, there was hundreds of replies. Um, how many copies of the book have you owned? <laughs> it was like, I was trying to reply to everyone. I've never, I've never had a post get more comments. And it was crazy how many copies. Some people are like, I've owned five myself. I've given away, you know, three to 10 as gifts. It's just crazy, but yeah, that that book I don't even know. I bet it's it's probably sold somewhere between I, I would say six or seven million, and maybe as high as like fifteen to twenty million copies, e easily, easily. So I've worked on stuff that sold over a million copies, and I'm just a scrub. Sorry, you guys have a great day. I'll talk to you all later. Um, like I said, if you have recommendations for Super Fun Sunday, I'm all ears for the next like probably hour or so. Then it'll be too late. So early bird might catch the worm tomorrow. We will see. Although I'm looking around my office. I'm getting ideas. So hurry. <laughs> All right, bye.